Welcome to Prodotronica and welcome to ASM. My name is Alexander Hagenfeld and I will be your host for the next few minutes. My partner here today is Rob Rain, one of our highly experienced automation experts. Hi, Rob. Hi, Alex. Now, before we show you some exciting new workflows here on the open automation line, I think it's important that we all get on the same page first. So, Rob, question to you. What exactly do we mean by open automation? Well, Alex, first and foremost, open automation is the modular, flexible alternative to the rigid single vendor factory. Open automation allows you to choose what to automate, when to automate it, and why. Using open industry standard interfaces, new and existing equipment, sometimes with nothing more than a software upgrade, can be integrated into an automated solution. In this way, you can build your own integrated smart factory tailored to your needs step by step, but always with an eye on the return on investment. Okay, so let me see if I got this right. Mm -hmm. Open automation is modular, mm -hmm. it's flexible, yep. it's vendor independent, uh -huh. and it always has a clear focus on a healthy return on investment. That's right. And one of the key enablers here is the intelligent use of data, right? Very much so. Sounds very promising. How about we have a look at what this looks like in reality? Okay. Rob, let's start the line. To show you how this works, we have replicated a small factory right here on our booth. Let's assume that this production line is up and running, and based on our current production plan, we are about to experience a changeover from product A to product B. First, with a little help from our partners at CTS and NewTech, we have completely eliminated the need for human intervention to resupply the line with PCBs using this very Omron AIV. So let's take a closer look at what is actually going on here. So our MES is working with CTS fleet management software to deliver the PCB magazine directly to the loader with no human intervention. But what's more, it can also provide the loader with information about the PCBs that are in this magazine. With that information, the loader knows which program to use, and more importantly, information can be passed on to the next machine using IPC Hermes. As each machine in the line receives an upline Hermes message, it can know which program to load, or at the very least, the size of that PCB and adjust its conveyor width accordingly. That's right, Rob. And the next machine here in our line is the printer. Now, a printer changeover can, of course, be fully automated. Mm -hmm. But the cost and complexity of doing so doesn't always make for a good return on investment. That's right. That is why a semi-automatic solution based on human-robot collaboration is likely to be a more cost-effective solution in most cases. I agree, Alex. In our example, I've already received a notification from ASM Command Center that the printer requires some assistance. With the stencil close by, delivered by the same robot that delivered the PCB magazines, exchange of the stencils becomes a quick and easy process with minimum human intervention. From that point forward, the DEC TQ takes over with features such as remote program changeover, the automatic repositioning of support pins and the optimum clamping method using APC to give just a few examples. And you know what? That's not all. It's not. Because from the first board leaving this printer, the DEC TQ teams up with the ASM process lens to receive instant feedback on the quality of the print. That means we can use this information to correct any potential stencil offsets mm -hmm. to determine the best possible cleaning rate. And ultimately, we can use that information to optimize the process parameters of the DEC TQ fully automatically. That means that what we have here is a printing solution that can maintain and optimize a printing process without human involvement at all. 
all thanks to the next generation DEC TQ and an all new version of our ASM process lens. That's right, Rob. And it looks like the boards are on their way. And I think that some of you may have noticed that the blue AIVs from our development partners at Eurotech have already started the changeover for the placement machines. Of course, the real complexity here is what you don't see. While the LowPad and the C-Place SX are very capable machines individually, it's the seamless integration of the two that means that we can automatically exchange tables here with no human intervention whatsoever. That's right, and while these two LowPad AIVs are busy with the changeover here at the line, our smart operator can start to prepare the next setup in parallel over in the setup preparation area. Behind the line, you can see how a robot from our development partners at Knapp is collecting a real cassette from the ASM material tower and delivering it to a convenient area over by the preparation. And that's another great example of human robot collaboration. Yes. But please let me bring your attention back to the line where we are about to complete the changeover. Now, in general, as soon as the last board has been processed here by the first machine in the line, we can, we can trigger the changeover automatically and we do it station by station. Working as a team, two low pad AIVs can exchange a table in less than 60 seconds. And then the C Place SX will take over to automatically load the table, reposition the support pins, mm -hmm. learn the component pitch, learn the PCB warpage, and a whole lot more. Now let's take a, a closer look at what that exchange actually meant. So when we say 60 seconds, we're talking about the time it takes from unlocking the first table, swapping over the tables, and then locking the second table. That's not as fast as a human operator doing the same task, but still well within an acceptable range for a setup changeover. At the end of the line, we have our automatic waste disposal system, further reducing the need for operator intervention at the line. Now, Alex, what's going to happen as boards start arriving at this AOI machine? All right, Rob, so here is our automated optical inspection machine from our development partners at Viscom. And Rob, as you know, even in the most sophisticated production lines, defects can happen, That's right? right? And when they do, it's important that we are able to detect them quickly so that we can conduct a proper root cause analysis to find out why it happened so that we can prevent it from happening again. And that's exactly what this type of machine does with its end of line quality inspection. That's right. And information collected from that machine can then be correlated with information from placement and solder paste inspection using our brand new IPC CFX interface. This integrates into ASM Process Expert Quality Viewer, giving process engineers a full 360 degree visualization of the exact boundary conditions that cause that defect so that they can respond accordingly. And that's exactly as easy as it should be, right? Now, please keep in mind that what we have shown you here today are merely examples of how open automation can be applied to create competitive advantages in your factories. Our latest innovation in this regard is ASM Factory Automation. It's a vendor independent software that was developed together with our colleagues at Critical Manufacturing. And by the way, it's that very software that, has, that was used to create and control every workflow that you have seen here in our factory. That's right. I hope we have shown you here today that open automation is retrofitable, vendor independent, and it can help you build your integrated smart factory step by step according to your needs, but always with your return on investment in mind. That's right. And if you want to learn more about open automation or the latest innovations from ASM, then please don't hesitate to visit our experience areas. On behalf of ASM, we thank you for your time and we wish you a successful day here at Productronica. Thank you.